Hello everyone and welcome back to Everlast Cyber. In today's video, we'll be going through the cables and connectors that you need to familiarize yourself with before you take the CompTIA A plus exam. Now, this is a very crucial topic because it forms the backbone of any IT infrastructure. In this video, we'll explore the most common types of cables and connectors that you will encounter, such as data cables, networking cables, video cables, and so on and so forth. We will discuss on how you can recognize them and when to use each of them. At the end of this video, you will have a solid foundation that will not only help you ace the A plus exam, but it will also give you the practical skills that are needed for the real world IT tasks. So let's dive right in. Question one, what kind of cable can be plugged into the sports? A, DVI, B, HDMI, C, USB, D, eSATA. For this kind of ports, the cable that can be plugged into this is option D, the eSATA cable. The eSATA cable is used to connect external SATA devices like hard disk drives, solid state drives, optical drives, and other external storage devices. There are two versions of this type of ports. We have the standard eSATA, and we also have the eSATA P, which is a powered one. The eSATA P has a source of power that can supply about 5 volts to 12 volts, while the eSATA has no power and it is usually used for hard drives. Question 2. What type of cable can be plugged into the sports? A. 3.5 mm audio jack. B. RCA cable. C. Firewire. D. Lightning cable. For this kind of ports, we'll be selecting option A, which is the 3.5 mm audio jack. This port is the standard port for audio cables for headphones and speakers, and this cable can be found on uh, laptops and um, even the desktop computer. Question 3. What type of cable do you need to plug into this port? A. HDMI. B. DVI. C. VGA. D. eSATA. For this kind of ports, the answer is option C. VGA. VGA connectors and ports are usually blue and they don't support audio. They have 15 pins that are arranged in, in three rows of five pins each and they carry only analog signals. So on the right, I put up a diagram of what the cable looks like while on the left is the port where the cable will plug into. Question 4. What type of cable would be plugged into this type of port? A. USB B. HDMI C. USB Type-C D. DVI For this kind of port, the cable that will be plugged in is option B. HDMI HDMI cables transmit audio and digital video signals, and we have the standard HDMI connectors. We also have micro HDMI connectors and the mini HDMI connectors. Now, like I mentioned before, they are used to transmit audio and digital video signals. Question 5. What type of cable can be plugged into the sports? A. USB. B. Thunderbolt, C, Display Ports, D, DVI. For this, we'll be going with option C, the Display Port. This is commonly used on our computer monitors, laptops, and graphic cards, and it is primarily intended for video. However, just like the HDMI cable, this can also transmit audio and video simultaneously. Now, it comes in different versions. We have the Display Port 2.1 and that is the most recent type, and it offers the highest bandwidth and support for the latest display technologies. Now, the cables have a unique connector with 20 or more pins. So if we take a look at the picture on the right, we can see that it has 20 pins, and these cables are also available in different lengths, and you can even daisy chain them with multiple devices to allow a multi-monitor setup without the need for multiple cables. You usually see the ports labeled on the devices that they are on. 
So if we take a look at the port, we can see DP at the top to show that it's the display port. Question six, what type of cable can be plugged into this port? A, type C, B, Thunderbolt, C, PCIe, D, USB 2.0. For this, we'll be going with option A. This is a typical type C port, and this type of port, the cable is reversible, meaning that you can plug it on any side without having to check if it's upright or upside down. It also has 24 pins, and this type of cable has different standards. So some of them has one end as a type C and the other end as the USB, and the other standard has both ends as the type c now when connecting two devices the user can either plug the end of the cable into any of the devices the plugs are usually flat but it will work whether it is inserted right side up or upside down question seven what type of cable do you need to plug into this port a sata b ethernet c pcie D. Thunderbolt. For this kind of port, this is our standard Ethernet port. This port is used for connecting our Ethernet cables, specifically the ones that have been terminated with the RJ45 connector. The Ethernet cables can either be straight through or crossover cables. And for the crossover cable, the, the colors of the cables at both ends are in different orders. While for the straight through cable, the same color standard is maintained on both ends. If you would like more information on networking cables, I've made a video on that. You can just check the, the CompTIA A Plus playlist and you'll see a video on networking cables in order to learn more about the cables. Question 8. What type of cable can be plugged into the sports? A. DVI, B, SATA, C, Thunderbolt, D, Type-C. For this kind of port, this is a typical DVI port, and it is usually used for digital or analog video. This port is available in three categories. We have the DVI-D, which is a digital-only connector. We have the DVI-A, which is an analog-only connector. And we have the DVI-I, which is a combination of both the analog and the digital connectors. We also have different cable options for the DVI, and I've put up a diagram here. So you can take a screenshot of this and study it later to know the different types of cable options for the different types of DVI categories. Question 9. What type of cable can be plugged into the sports? A. PCIe B. USB C. Thunderbolt D. Type-C If we take a look at this port, we will see that it's in the USB port. Now, there are different types of USB cables and ports, and they have different transmission speeds. For instance, we have the USB Type-A, we have the USB Micro-B, we have the USB type C as well as the USB mini B and also the cables are different. Like in this diagram, I've put up the different types of cables that can be used. We also have USB port colors and their maximum speed. So a USB port that is white is usually the USB 1.0 and it has a maximum speed of 12 Mbps. The USB port that is black is the USB 2.0 with a maximum speed of 480 Mbps. The blue USB port is the USB 3.0 with a maximum speed of 5 Gbps. And the teal colored USB port is the USB 3.1 with a maximum speed of 10 Gbps. We also have the yellow and the red or orange USB ports, and they usually have a maximum speed of 20 Gbps to 40 Gbps. Question 10. What type of cable can be plugged into this port? A. Thunderbolt B. 
PCIe, C, USB, D, Type C. This kind of port is the Thunderbolt port and it connects audio displays and drives. It provides connection of external storage devices to your computer. It can also be used to connect an external graphics card, as well as a 10 gigabyte Ethernet network for high performance. This brings us to the end of the video for the cable connectors and ports that you need to know for the CompTIA A plus exam. Don't forget to like the video, comment, and also share. And hit the subscribe button so that you'll be notified when our next informative video drops. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.